story. Fred? Barney? Wilma? Betty? Dino? Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. I had such a bad experience with the Flintstones that I only watched the show once and then I could never stand to watch it again. Flintstones premiered on American television back in 1960 when I was eight years old, which uh, was not a very happy time in my life. Um, my father was in the hospital, dying of multiple sclerosis. And uh, my mom was in a mental hospital getting uh, electroshock therapy. Not a happy time. No brothers, no sisters, no friendly adults, no other really friendly family to uh, watch out for me and, and see what was going on. But I did have uh, a wicked uncle. in a military academy, a year-round military boarding school in, in Palo Alto, California. It doesn't exist anymore. Palo Alto Military Academy. He put me in there. Um, what was life like there? A lot of marching around the playground with a little dummy rifle, uh, shining your shoes, getting your room in the bar barracks ready for inspection. Major Nichols would come around with his uh, white cotton glove and he'd reach up and run it along a little sill way up at the top of the door and uh, if, if I hadn't pulled that little tiny chair over the door, second grade little tiny chair, if I hadn't pulled that over to the door and stretched up real tall and cleaned that off, there would be dirt on Major Nichols' glove. And that would mean, uh, Kaiser, this is filthy. 25 demerits, no dessert for a week. Or to this day, I can't eat raw tomatoes because of an experience there in second grade in military school. Um, I just want to give an idea what the place was like. Um, if you were sick, uh, it wasn't like a real military base. It was a military school, so there wasn't an infirmary. So if you were sick, you just stayed in your room in the barracks, and you still had to eat in the mess hall with everybody else. One of my favorite things that we used to have to eat was this uh, sliced tomato salad on a little plate. I used to like it. We'd get it twice a week. And I was sick. I had a pretty bad flu. I'd been in bed in my room. Came down to dinner. Had to put my uniform on. Didn't feel too good, a little dizzy going down the stairs. Um, there was that salad I liked, so I wolfed that salad down real quick. And uh, unfortunately, um, I, I vomited and threw it up on the table. But it was a surprise. I mean, it probably surprises you nowadays what they did to kids in the old days like this. So they um, made you eat the vomit off the table in front of you until you can keep it down. And I had to eat it five or six times uh, and throw it up again to keep it down while all the other kids are jeering and the major's standing behind you like he's gonna hit you with his little white riding crop. Not very fun. So, um, no television there, no going to the movies. No vacations for me, actually. But my roommate, he did get to go home on weekends. And um, I guess his family, they were getting a divorce, but on weekends they tried to pretend he, that it was kind of a leave it to beaver, father knows best kind of all-American family. And um, so they watch TV and stuff, and uh, they go to the movies, and one one... He'd come back on uh, Monday, go to school, and then Monday night, 
after lights out, talking kind of quiet because we wouldn't want to get caught, he'd tell me about his weekend at home. And I remember one time he'd been to the movies and he came back and he said, Henry, um, I just went to the movies with my parents and I saw the most incredible movie. It was called The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. It was all about this dinosaur. The, an ar- the army had a fight with it in an amusement park. It smashed a roller coaster. They shot it with a cannon. The special effects were great. It looked just like a real dinosaur. And he told me the whole story of the movie in detail as kids do. He told me how great the dinosaur looked. And a few years later, I got to see uh, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms myself on television. I think in fourth or fifth grade I got to see it. And it was even better than his description. It was great. It was my kind of movie. So the weeks went by go home on the weekends. A few weeks later, came back and said, Henry, I just saw this new TV show about some cavemen. It's called the Flintstones. And there's dinosaurs all over the place. Uh, It's about this family of cavemen who live in this town called Bedrock. And there's, uh, they live in stone houses and they have dinosaur-powered machines. Fred Flintstone, he's the hero, he works at a construction site where they use a brontosaurus for a crane. The Flintstones, they even have a dinosaur for a pet. His name's Dino, and he's just like a dog. No pets in military school. Certainly no dinosaurs. So every week, for six or seven weeks, uh, the roommate would, would go home, watch the Flintstones, which were on on Sunday night, and then Monday night, Tell me about every episode in, uh, in great detail. Actually, I remember he told me about the first episode, something called a, a Barney Copter, some kind of animal-powered helicopter. It sounded great. He described the clothes they wore. It was great. This went on for a while, and then suddenly I was presented with the opportunity to see the Flintstones for myself. My father was feeling a little bit better, and his doctors decided to let him come home to the house I grew up in, and for me to go meet him, cut to spend uh, what was probably going to be a last weekend with him. It was a last weekend. He died soon after that. Um, but I went home. We did all sorts of things together. We had a really good time. But what I remember most about that weekend was uh, Sunday night. At dinner, I said to my uh, father, I said, Papa, Papa, my roommates told me about this new TV series um, about some prehistoric men called the Flintstones. It's on tonight. Boy, could we watch it together? You know, I know I know we have to make a special exception because it's, it's on at 7.30, a half hour past my bedtime. C- could we stay up and watch it? He said it was okay. So, so we got ready to watch the Flintstones. We went to the kitchen. Um, I made some popcorn. Um, actually, TV time popcorn, a kind of popcorn that preceded Jiffy Pop, but they don't make anymore. I had this plastic packet that had coconut oil solidified. And anyway, made that. Um, and then we went into the family room to watch the Flintstones. Um, I went over and got the remote control off the top of the set. Um, my father rolled his wheelchair over in, in front of the set. Climbed up in his lap, turned on the TV, and, uh... Hey! What? The Flintstones came on. And I was completely shocked. My whole world was destroyed. Because, uh, I didn't know something. My roommate had never told me that the Flintstones was a cartoon.